Bobby, I often wish you were deaf and wore a hearing aid. With a simple flick of the switch, I could shut out the greedy murmur of little men. JJ, I need you here for two minutes. Mac. Yes? I don't want this man at my table. I've got a message from your sister. Forgive me, Harvey. We were interrupted. The Supreme Court story I was telling you, Justice Black. Oh, yes, Justice Black, that's right. But I believe I had it in my column. Last July, the lead item. Oh, I believe that's precisely where I read it, too. You see, J.J., where I get my reputation for being the best informed man in Washington. Now, don't kid a kidder. <laughs> well, I don't think we caught your name, young man. Sidney Falco, sir, but everybody knows and admires you, Senator Walker. <laughs> Every six years, I've become less convinced of that. Well, this young lady is Miss Linda James. She's managed by Manny Davis. I know Manny Davis. Everyone knows Manny Davis. Except Mrs. Manny Davis. Go ahead, Billy, shoot. Uh-huh. Sports cars are getting smaller and smaller in California. The other day, you were crossing Hollywood Boulevard and you got hit by one. And you had to go to the hospital to get it removed. <laughs> Billy, you're not following the column. I had it last week. Senator, do you believe in capital punishment? Why? A man has just been sentenced to death. Manny, tell me, what exactly are the unseen gifts of this lovely young thing that you manage? Well, she sings a little. You know, she sings Manny's and... faith in me is uh, simply awe-inspiring, Mr. Hunsaker. Actually, I'm still studying. What subject? Singing, of course. Uh, straight concert and... Well, why, of course. You might, for instance, be studying politics. Uh, me? When well, you see J.J. Uh, I mean, she... I? Y you must be kidding, Mr. Hunsaker. Me with my Jersey City brains. The brains may be Jersey City, but the clothes are trained in the rail. Are you an actor, Mr. Falco? That's what I was thinking. Are you, Mr. Falco? Well, how did you guess it, Miss James? He's so pretty, that's how. Mr. Falco, let it be said at once, is a man of 40 faces, not one. None too pretty, and all deceptive. You see that grin? That's the, uh, that's the charming street urchin face. It's part of his helpless act. He throws himself upon your mercy. He's got a half dozen faces for the ladies. But the one I like, the really cute one, is the quick, dependable chap. Nothing he won't do for you in a pinch. So he says. Mr. Falco, whom I did not invite to sit at this table tonight, is a hungry press agent and fully up to all the tricks of his very slimy trade. Match me, Sidney. Not right this minute, J.J. 